Walker right in. He's alive like a lobster. Oh, there they go. What's up, Sin Chow? I'm at Ho Tiki Market in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City. We're gonna get as much Vietnamese street food as we can tonight. I'm gonna try all the rare exotic foods, starting with pickled chicken feet. We're gonna eat pig's intestine, enormous sea beetles. We're gonna get into that balloon, the egg embryo, and try it all. And to spice it up a bit, I'm gonna try and spend $100 US. Let's go. Mama likes chicken feet too. She just doesn't talk. Is that wasabi? No, hum, hum. No, oh, it's no jam. Okay, yeah, okay. It's a seafood sauce, right? Yeah. Okay, come on, chi. Thank you. Where can we sit? Do you want to sit right in front? Yeah. Or over the side there? Uh, we can sit here. Yeah. By the dog. Okay. okay. All right, so we just started off with some pickled chicken feet from the auntie up there. They're nice and deboned. You get a bit, little camera there? Let's flip it around. All right, these look pretty tasty. The smell's not too strong. I think this is, it's cut beer. So it's lime leaf, lemongrass, spicy fresh chili, pickled, and a little bit of that green melon. Just get that. Oh wow, a lot of lemongrass, really fresh flavor. Mm. And again, they've been deboned. This is like the equivalent of going and getting like chicken nuggets. The texture is a bit much for some people, but I'm into it. It kind of reminds me of Mexican style pig skin, like what you get in a bar where you get pickled chicharron down there. Mm. Overall good flavor, I don't know. She looking, she's super friendly, but let's be real, like soft six out of 10. All right. This one had the fermented hot sauce on it. It tastes, uh, ooh, it's spicy. It's got some kick and it's actually fresh chili. It's not made from the ketchup style chili sauce that you get so much in Vietnam. So hopefully it tastes good and there's not too, too much Saigon sugar. Ooh, that's much better. The spicy one's got a little action in it. Tastes delicious. This could, uh, could knock off buffalo chicken wings. Next up on deck. Getting a real front of the mouth kick there. Auntie just came over and scolded me for not using a nook jam, which is the green seafood sauce. You can see it here. Ooh, that smells like intense fresh green chilies. A little bit of cilantro, maybe a little bit of calamansi. Like the, uh... oh yeah, there's calamansi in there. It's not lime. <laughs> and it is hot. That's legit fire. All right, let's get that right in there. Cover it up. Oh my God, it just got in my eye. Wow. Wow. What a stupid foreigner. We're not gonna count this out. We're leaving the hot sauce in the eye segment in for sure. Oh man, absolutely delicious. Pickled chicken feet. I know mom off camera wants me to shut up because she loves chicken feet, they're her favorite. And that's why we started with them. So she's just wondering why I keep blabbing so much. Oh, mm. Oh yeah, none, yeah, none. Yeah, super good, really tasty. Much better, the nook jam. Yeah, yeah, none. Oh, it's so much better with the sauce. I take back everything I said. With the nook jam, it's a solid eight out of 10. These are delicious. You want one, mama? Yeah, no. Mom's behind the camera, camera shy. She's not even nodding yes or no at the camera anymore. Oh yeah. Wow. That's delicious. Mm. Finger looking good. Num. Okay, she stands no chance. Okay. Nyok Nyong, uh, Pepsi? Or no, Sting, Sting, home. Um. All right, so they're gonna make frozen soda. This is definitely a Thai-style street food thing. You see it all over Bangkok. 
and it's classic ice cream shaker, like the old school ones they had in Europe 100 years ago. And they literally just put Pepsi in there and shake it on ice. I imagine there's tons of salt as well in there to keep the temperature cold. And then when they pop the top, the oxygen comes in and frosts it up. So you get this snowy effect. The Viet word, nyuk nyong, literally means like sweet water and dong tu yet means frozen ice. So it's like sweet water, frozen ice. And then sting is a reprehensible Vietnamese drink. No, it's a very popular soda made by PepsiCo. It's like packed with sugar and caffeine. And all the teenage girls love to drink it because it turns their lips red. So if they're not allowed to wear lipstick, they, uh, they drink sting in class all day. So they'll get little red lips and it'll look like they have makeup on. It was about, about one dollar, basically. Come on. Whoa, delicious red sting. Come on. All right, let's get after this. I'm definitely just doing this one for the crowd. Although, to be fair, those chicken feet were ridiculously spicy. I haven't had a sting. I think I've had one sting in my life, like right when I first got to Vietnam. We're gonna do it. Oh my God, it tastes <laughs> It is like cherry cough medicine with three times the sugar and twice the caffeine. It's exactly what an eight year old would like. My, my baby, my like two year old son will go nuts for this stuff. I don't know if I can have any more. Wi Fi in the camera, do you want some? Yeah? She gonna go for it? Oh my God. How's it taste, wifey? Are you into it? No, she's nodding, no. Absolutely not. That's a hard no. Woof. Even after, even after the spicy chicken feet, that is, oh man, it's a lot. I can't believe this, is, but seriously, teenagers in Vietnam drink sting all the time, like, Por favor, it's gonna be a diabetes crisis. All right, we're gonna try and get in here. This stand is packed. We're gonna be getting after some of these sea beetles. They're like, become popular. They're a little bottom dweller. I think they're just gonna steam it and then grill the thing up whole. It's not very pretty, but I imagine it tastes, uh, you know, like chicken, right? Tastes like chicken? We get into it. There's some good meat in there though, feel it. It's got like, it feels like a little bit like poor man's lobster, maybe like a rock lobster. So how are we gonna do it? Uh, there's, there's one cooked up over there, come check it out. That's a big one, yeah, lawn. And I have a small size. small, just me. What do you think? See you. All right, let's get one of the smaller ones. How much is the big one? Okay, we'll get one of these guys. Two seventy. Hi, Cham. Bye, Mui. Toi mon mo the hai cham bai mui. Uh, this one. Hi, uh, what is it? Hai cham bai mui. Yeah, toi mon mo. He's got a ugly fucking eyes, eh? Sorry, funny looking eyes. Look at that sucker. He looks a little bit like uh, Alien versus Predator. Huh? Little kissers. They're kind of cool though. There's this whole exoskeleton looking thing to them. And then they got like the honey I shrunk the kid mouth in there. This thing is fully alive too, but I guess it's probably when it's out of the water, it doesn't get much oxygen. You can see this. Ooh, they're goopy. It's got goopy little bottoms. These things are soft in there. Little flutterers. All right, the M's being super nice here and she's gonna let me cook it too. You gotta get in there with the camera so you can see it. We're gonna drop this sucker right in. He's alive like a lobster. Oh, there they go. Legs up, folks. I think we're gonna boil them and then hit it with a little bit of flame and grill it afterwards. Hopefully we can get some uh, garlic chili in there. I think the audio is clipping like crazy there. My bad if I'm yelling. It's super busy, all kinds of street traffic. As you know, when we come and film Vietnamese street food, there's always a ton of people out. It's late at night, but Ho Chi Minh Market is packed right now. We are on our ultimate street food tour of Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon, Vietnam. We're about to get in some Ba Bien or sea beetles. 
As you can see, they're also cooking up a lot of oat here, tons of snails, and they're doing some, looks like little scallops as well there. They look tasty, they're boiling away. Stuffed snails up there, they look like they're full of mushroom, woodier mushroom and pork. And then there's uh, the sea urchin is being done with egg yolk and a kind of like cheese sauce. Yeah, you want to get a sea urchin too? It's like a sea urchin omelet action. Do you want to get a cheesy sea urchin omelet egg? No. <laughs> Bob Yen. All right, so we're getting this Bob Yen. It is a, a seriously large sea creature. Looks like a bit of a sea bug. I think we're, we're gonna say it's like if the lobster had a baby with a predator. It actually it smells pretty delicious though. It's like a nice soft white meat. She boiled it up for about five or 10 minutes and then hit it on the grill, like flame kissed, finished it off with some classic Viet seafood style finishing. So there's scallion oil on top as well as some peanuts and fried shallots. And then this is nook cam, which is like a spicy green chili sauce. I think we should just get it all the way in there and eat the whole thing. I'm, I'm excited to dig into this. It looks pretty meaty. I just got, I got like a cut eye from an auntie. There's not a lot of flesh. Ooh, wow. It's yummy. The flesh is there. It is really soft and tender. Like you can see it's not a lot. Let's get the camera up on the face. All right, get in there for the close up. As you can see, we're, we're not a lot of flesh there. There's actually a, a paucity of meat. I feel like I'm gonna be able to eat a whole lot more after this. It looks like, almost like squid meat, but it's a bit tender, like lobster style. So let's eat this thing, mama. Mm. It's absolutely delicious. I mean, I do love seafood. Hi, Amber. It's not quite oystery, but it's a really tender, soft meat, and I like it. Bring on the sea beetles. Mm. It doesn't have the buttery sweetness of lobster or crab. It's much closer, I think, to like a really soft, steamed uh, squid or something, like the flavor of a squid of like very, very subtle sea flavor, a little bit of salt, but almost no texture. It's uh, smooth and creamy, unless you choke on a peanut, in which case it's a death trap. Mm. I think I'm just gonna eat this whole thing. Do you want some of this, Mama? Should I save you some? She seems hesitant. I kinda like it. I'm into it. I would eat more of these, but Let's have a reality check right now. This thing costs 270K, which is like $13, $14 US. And for 13 or $14 US, you could literally have like five to 10 meals in Saigon or like a hundred different things in the street food. But we're on our $100 challenge here. We're trying to get there. The pickled chicken feet were $4. The sting was one dollar. Oh, that's not very good. So we're only at five dollars. Then this thing's four dollars. Well, we're at nineteen dollars. We're getting there. We're one fifth of the way to a hundred dollars. I think I can do it. Take that sunny side. Mmm. Oh yeah. Look at this goobery stuff. It's like fishy guts. Oh yeah. I'm into it. Are you sure you don't want some? Kind of nice, it's like eating a fish head. If you've ever eaten fish brains or anything inside a fish head, it's like that. Kind of like a mixed textural bag, but it tastes really good. Mm -hmm. I'm 
nước không nhỏ đó đổ nước So we just got school about the legs. We gotta eat these, yeah? Koi moon an. Ooh, I'm not gonna, there's not a lot of meat in there, but we can suck these out. This is like, uh, if you ever like picked honeysuckle and suckled on them, you're getting like a slight whiff of uh, seafood. Mm, okay. He also told us to dig out these shells, so, you know, when in Rome, let's get it guys. Mm. Oh, this is worth it. This has got good meat in it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, if you get in there with your teeth. Oh, yeah. My auntie's beside me, I'm impressed. Oh. Why not? There's like the little in the like shouldery elbow joints. There's some meat. It's a bit tender, a little bit of cartilage. It's good though. Mmm. I mean, the thing tastes good. There's no denying that. Moon an? What do you call that? Moon an ba ben? Hum? How do you say it? Emko moon an ba ben hum? You always gotta end a question with a negative, right? That's part of Vietnam. Oh yeah. I kind of like this thing. It's like eating a really messy lobster. <laughs> Dig it out. There's some good sucky sounds for the ASMR folks out there. Oh yeah. Well, it was worth it. Our sea beetle provided. The dude abide. All right, what's up? Little check in here. We are almost finished our ultimate street food tour of Hotiki Market. We've had pickled chicken feet. We got in there, had the frozen cola with the sting. We went in and ate one of those bob in, enormous sea beetle things, which was actually pretty delicious. We've absolutely failed at our challenge to spend $100, but we still have one test left. We're gonna go eat duck embryo, AKA balut in the Philippines. And if I say this wrong in Vietnam, I'm gonna embarrass everyone and I'm talking really loudly. It's called Hop Vi Lom, which definitely is a bad word. I know you know what I'm talking about, Ting Viet people. So let's go get it. Let's go eat some lom. Over a boiling vat of quail and duck fetuses. I'm gonna keep embarrassing my wife every single time I say it long. So I'm just gonna start saying bi, or hon bi, which means like duck eggs. And we won't say the last part because it also means the bad word for lady bits. All right, you ready? So this is our final challenge here. We're gonna get in. We're gonna get after that balut, that duck egg embryo. Xin chào anh. It actually looks pretty delicious. They're boiling them up in a tamarind sauce with a little bit of chili. So we can get some a little, with some oat or some kai, get that spicy sauce in it. And hopefully we enjoy this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared. I've never actually eaten these duck embryos. I grew up a vegetarian too. So this is some kind of sacrilege for me and my family. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be going over to the dark side of eggs. Do I, can I order from this guy here? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want high? High to be? Yeah. So one blend, one with the tamarind sauce. Oh, cool. oh yeah, okay, wow. Yeah. Very, uh... Hot beat, long. 
Salmi, Nook Mom. Sate. Uh huh. Are you recording still? Yeah, I know. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Mot, Neat, Vong Sate. Um, which Oh, yeah, just write it down. And which one is the tamarind sauce? Me or me? This, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have one with the tamarind sauce and one with the spicy saute sauce. And we're gonna eat ourselves a bunch of duck egg embryos. Let's get it. Come on, Ang. They just blanch them or parboil them a little bit so they're cooked through. And then they're basically just finishing these in the sauce, the same way you would like a pasta or anything like that, right? You're gonna parboil the pasta and then you're gonna get after it with a little bit of saute. So those are our beautiful duck egg embryos right there. They're actually kind of big. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a little bit of a little bit of something in the pit of my stomach here. I might, I might struggle with this one. My wife's gonna think it's hilarious because she doesn't like eating lots of the weird stuff I eat, but she lo actually loves these and we'll just chow on them if this is their normal snack. We're gonna go overhead here on this guy. Okay, Angoy is hitting that with the sweet nook mum. So that was fish sauce with a little bit of sugar and some oil in it as well. And I think he's gonna finish some of these off with the peanuts. All very classic Viet dishes here. A little bit of herbs on the side. I mean, the number of things that are cooked this way in Vietnam is kind of countless. Like they're just basic variations on a sauce with the protein. There you go. Two duck eggs, get a little of the greenery on the side. We are ready to go, folks. You double dog dare me. I hope that sauce has tons of sugar, super Saigon style. All right. Mmm. Mom off camera is actually getting excited for this stuff because she thinks it's so yummy looking. Meanwhile, my stomach is like nodding up. My stomach looks exactly like one of these duck embryos right now. And I, I don't think it feels any better either. I've eaten a whole lot of sea urchin. Infamous duck embryo, duck aid, known as balut in the Philippines or honvit lom. She's still out. The wife is, she's still laughing at me, so I must be saying it wrong. I, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I only have ever been this afraid to eat any kind of street food. I'm not that into the bugs and things like that in Mexico, although I will eat the, oh God. Should I just do this? What's it gonna taste like? Is it gross? Is it like a disgusting boiled egg? Wow, that's a bad wow. Uh, wow, I in intensely just like that. That's, um, can I have a piece this big? Does this count? My wife thinks it's really funny that I almost hurled. I've eaten a lot of street food today too, and sting. Well, that's a definite fail. Um, I'm definitely done. I can't, I can't handle it. Do you really like this? She really likes eating these? I mean, everyone's eating them, so people must like eating them. I can't, it's so gross. What if I eat the peanut? Does the peanut count as eating it? I can't, I can't, like looking at the feathers, I can't even do it. Well, Vietnam, I'm sorry. No one watches to the end of YouTube videos anyways, so no one is seeing me fail miserably, but. There's feathers in there. I don't mind the feathers, the feathers are better. It's the like, overcooked, gamey egg yolk part.
And it, let's just say it, it looks like a testicle. It looks like a testicle and it doesn't taste good. Well, I don't know, maybe it's, oh, it's like, there's bones in there. You gotta like, I mean, I like bones. I don't know what's up with it. You really gotta, I can see the skull too. You see it's little birdie egg skull in there. But it's, none of this makes sense. I don't mind eating fish eyes. I'll suck on a fish's skull. I don't know why. It's fine. You know what? I get it back. It's fine. This is a solid five out of ten. This is um, right up there with like stale bar peanuts for good drinking snacks. And that's probably only because it has peanuts in it. Did we order four of these? Are they expensive at least? Are we almost, are we gonna win our hundred dollar challenge? How much do they cost? Three dollars? So what, twenty-two dollars? Well, I came to Hotiki Market and I lost, folks. Took a big L tonight. Couldn't spend a hundred dollars. I even ate that enormous sea beetle. And uh, I officially don't like balloon. Sorry. It's like everything that's a bad egg. The best part of the egg is like the soft, silky, beautiful texture. And this doesn't have that. The best, the atmosphere here is riveting though. Yeah, you know, it's like an egg cooked so much that it's like, no, no, it's not good. There's nothing good about this. Write in the comments, what's so good about this? Do you like eating this? Tell me why. I'm open, open to being convinced of otherwise. But, uh, it just looks like the egg sack of a fish with like a rubbery, chewy texture. I don't know what the redeeming quality is. Other than the sauce and accoutrements, I don't know what I'm supposed to like. There's some girl filming me over there. I don't know if she thinks I'm famous or just a goofy foreigner, but either way, hopefully she has more followers than us. Thank you. Thank you. Subscribe to Noodlehead. I don't care if I said it right or not. I'm Evan. This has been Noodlehead at Hotiki Market. And now I'm gonna go take a long hot bath and wash my soul clean. Like the video, comment below. Postscript, we're still at Hotiki Market and I want you to know that wife of the show is just destroying these things. She's not lying, she's literally just eating them all. And uh, we also spent 75 cents on uh, sugar cane juice, there you go. So grand total, I think we managed to spend $25. We've got a lovely little kid over here playing video games. Looks like he's ready for the casinos in Cambodia. He's just swiping away over there. Let's get one last beautiful money shot. Duck egg embryo. It's just like overcooked egg yolk. Munch it down, wife of the show. Boom. There it goes. The end. Sometimes there's a happily ever after, and sometimes it's a tragedy. In this plot arc, it's a tragedy. Everyone dies in the end, especially the poor, sad, unborn ducklings who were turned into this horrible snack. This four-star snack. No, four out of ten snack. Four stars way too good. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, nom, 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 nom. This restaurant definitely wins the award for loudest place of the evening. The ladies here, the aunties, are a chatting. Um, one more bite. See, she's just destroying it. Comment below and let me know how many of these duck egg embryos can you eat? <laughs>